Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In today's lesson, we will learn about seam taping. Now, what is seam taping? Seam taping is a tool inside Marvelous Designer that allows you to make any part of the garment from soft to stiff or rigid. It's usually applied on, uh, you can say, on the collar or under the collar or sometimes on joints between shoulder and sleeve. Also on sleeves, cuffs and cuffs tightening, folding, uh, like a fold part where you like fold the sleeves to make it like, and then you make it tighter. So let's see how it works inside Marvelous Designer. So first of all, what I will do is that I will remove this clone over that one that we created in the last class okay so i will delete uh this okay and let's simulate it and see how it looks like now because it won't be thick or fluffy anymore and you can see it's all how it was before okay so a little uh Reduce uh, like reduction in size. Let's make it a little narrower because what we did was that we made it a little wider uh, in our last lesson. Now notice that from this top part, okay, you can see it's not that stiff. Stiff, okay, it's very soft, or you can say droopy, okay, and it's just falling wherever it can easily. So we want to make this collar a bit more like stiff. Okay, so what we can do easily is that here we have seam taping. We can take the seam taping part and click on the edge that we want to seam or we want to make it rigid or stiff. For example, this part, a top part of, of my collar. So when as soon I will click on it, you can see it will turn reddish. Okay. But down here, it's white. That means the bottom part of my collar is as it is. Only the top part is effective. And as soon I will click on it, it will give me the seam taping properties. Now in the properties, I have the width of the seam. Okay, right now this is 10 centimeters or like millimeters. I can make it five. Okay, and as soon as I will make it five, you can see it will reduce in size. And maybe I want it to be 10 so it can be more wider can affect more now here i have different presets at this stage i have feasible like fusible common fusible common is the more most ordinary one which allows you to test how it is other than that we have fusible lapel fusible non-woven fusible non-woven for uh, like woven for small parts then we have like pocket bone. This is for basically when you are working on pockets, under collar when you are working on collars and uh, like the under part of the collars. So uh, the one I will use here is first of all fusible uh, common. Then we will check uh, these other two. Okay. So as soon as I will do that, everything is already set up according to what I have selected here. And then when I will simulate it. So notice the change that will apply here. Okay, so now you can see that it's quite it's quite rigid. Okay, unlike how it was before. Now don't worry about this red because it's just showing in a 3D window. But once you will export it, so it won't show. Okay, and if I will click it again, okay, let's turn it off the simulation, and if I will change the preset to fuse a uh, fusible lapel and then try so notice what will happen here there will be a, a little difference okay so you can see that uh, it's not that much of a difference and let's see oops i applied on the bottom as well, as well. if i will apply on the uh, like bottom so it will become too rigid so it will become too uh, like uh, it will like, kind of uh, affect the uh, shirt's front and back part, which I don't want. That's why I'm not applying on the bottom. I'm key. Uh, I just have kept it on the top. Now, 
what we'll do here is that instead of lapel, let's try and see non woven. And then I will apply here. And this is what the result is. Not that much of a difference here. Now let's go here, choose usable non woven. This is how the result is. If we will choose reinforce for the bone pocket, now you can see that it's been a little bit more rigid. And then similarly, what we can do is that instead of the, let's select this again, so I can get the other part by mistake, I just clicked it, sorry. Okay, so in, instead of uh, reinforce pocket, let's choose the other one, reinforce collar. And it's more likely to be rigid. So the one that I will, I, I like here is the one, which is the, the collar one. Okay, so let's, let's add some on the bottom as well, just to see if, if it affects, if it doesn't affect, we will keep it as it is, like with the, with the bottom part as well. And let's see what do we have here. Fusible common. No, I want it to be feasible, a reinforcement under the collar. Okay, so both are the same now. Okay, now simulate it and let's see. Yep, you can see that how it reacted as soon as I uh, simulated. So not bad. Okay, it looks good few wrinkles are here which as i we discussed before you can simply remove those wrinkles by going or by uh, taking your uh, steam iron tool okay and wherever you find the wrinkles just iron over that part and it will be gone okay so you can see that easily it has removed all those weird wrinkles that i have it So done, and that's how we can see that. So guys, if you like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet, so please do it and hit the bell icon also. To support my channel, please watch my videos online and do not download them. Otherwise, I won't get any benefit out of it, which will demotivate me to make further videos. So please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful. So take care guys, stay safe, stay healthy and keep learning on Z Interactive, your own training institute. If you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson, then join my Z Interactive Early Bird membership plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also.